More than 1,400 still without power following Saturday's storms. Take a look at the MLG outage map, MLGW outage map. You can see parts of Frazier, East Memphis still in the dark, and it might be a while until they see light. Some places like the Croc Center closed for the day. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in one of those areas in Midtown Memphis. And Brad, how much longer will some have to wait? Well, MLGW leaders Annette say it will be until tomorrow until power is fully restored. And aside from the Croc Center here in Midtown Memphis, another issue also in Midtown, the stoplight remains out here at Madison and East Parkway. There's still other pockets in Fraser and East Memphis without power as well. Folks in those areas are going to have to ride it out another day following the latest extensive power outage affecting thousands of MLGW customers. Now, all of that happened because of Saturday night storms, which caused poles, trees, and wires throughout Memphis. Memphis to be knocked down, forcing MLGW leaders to work around the clock Sunday into today and tomorrow. This is the third straight year, year severe weather in the Memphis area knocked out power for days for thousands of MLGW customers. Earlier this year, the Memphis City Council rejected rate increases, which MLGW leaders said were desperately needed to invest in the system's aging infrastructure. After those no votes in March, MLGW leaders said it must cut another $150 million from its capital budget, meaning certain electric system projects intended to cut down on outages like this weekend's will be delayed for the foreseeable future. Now, the Memphis City Council members who rejected those proposed MLGW rate increases said they did so because they were concerned about the impact on the city's poor customers. This also comes the same time MLGW is considering several studies which indicate if MLGW purchases from someone other than the TVA, it could save tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Reporting live in Midtown Memphis, I'm Brian Broders for Good Day Memphis.